Hello, happy Tuesday. I'm glad you're here with me today. Ready for a knock knock joke? Don't you roll your eyes at me. I can see you. Not really, but I know you. All right, you ready? Knock knock. Ben. Been wondering what you've been up to lately. <laughs> I know, I know. It's hilarious. I can't help myself. All right, friends, Tuesday, vocabulary day. So you're going to watch this video lesson, the one you're watching right now. You're going to watch this video lesson. And I'm going to show you how I want you to do these vocabulary lessons. And then going forward, however long we're doing this for, you're going to have this is going to be your Tuesday vocabulary activity. Okay. So first it says you're going to watch the lesson, which is what you're doing right now. And then when you're done, you're going to go to your, your Google Classroom and you're going to complete the vocab page. So I'm going to go to our Google Classroom. And here's where it says, Catherine Mucci posted a new assignment. So I'm going to click on the assignment and yours is going to look a little different than mine. Yours is going to just pull up the assignment. Um, yours is going to see, I can see all your scores. It's going to look like this. So then I'm going to click on the assignment. And here's what it is going to pull up. It's going to look like this. Okay, cool. Let's see what I have to do. What number one is sluggish. Say it with me. Sluggish. Good job. Charlie was wondering if he was getting sick. He had been feeling sluggish for the past few days. He didn't have any energy and was feeling very lazy. His mom said she should take him to the doctor if he didn't perk up soon. Okay, use the paragraph above to help you with the following prompts. You can use a dictionary or thesaurus to help you with some of the prompts. Okay, so what do we think this means? I'm gonna have to delete, whoops, I'm gonna have to delete this. Um, there we go. Delete what's already there. Okay. Um, let's see. Make a prediction. Um, I'm going to say no energy and lazy. Clue type. Clue type. Um, well, they were, um, well, so they're asking. What was the different context clue this author used, whoever wrote this paragraph? So I think they have synonyms. That's a clue type. Synonyms. Oh my goodness, I can't type today, guys. Synonyms um, and restating. So they basically said the same kind of thing. Um, and like um, description. I think they used that too. So what helped you figure out? Oh, I didn't spell energy right. Let me go back and fix that. Define the word. Okay, here's where you're going to go to a, our dictionary. So I'm going to open a new tab. You all know I always have a million tabs open. I'm going to go to our class website. And I'm going to click on reading. By the way, here's our plan. This is, um, it's going to be right here for you to look at if you need to look at it. So I'm going to click on reading. Yeah, that was last week's plan, I know. I need to update that. I'm gonna click on reading and let's see, here's book clubs from last week. Okay, oh, dictionary, Word Central. So I'm gonna click on that and it takes us to wordcentral.com. I like this dictionary because it's kid friendly. So I'm gonna type in the word sluggish, which you can see I already did this. And it's gonna click go. Uh, okay, slow in movement. So I can copy and paste this. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to hit control C. I'm going to go back to my assignment. I'm going to hit control V and there it is. Perfect. Slow and movement. Oh, I was right. No energy. Oh, maybe I should have added some slow moving. Maybe I want to go up here and I want to change, add that slow moving, slow motion. Okay. Um, let's see, synonyms. Okay, so again, I'm going to go back to my dictionary tab. And over here, see how it says student thesaurus? So let's click on that. See what it gives me. Oh, this one doesn't actually give me anything. This gives me the definition again. Okay, so what should I do? Problem solvers. That's what I'm going to do. I'm in a new tab. I'm going to put synonym for for sluggish. Let's see what comes up. Ah, adjective, similar, inactive, quiet, slow, slow moving. Okay, so I'm going to put, maybe I want to put a couple of those. I want to put inactive, 
slow, slow moving. Um, oh, inactive. Remember that prefix in means not. So perfect, inactive. All right, antonyms. So normally on this, on this, it will give you antonyms as well, but for whatever reason, this word's not showing up. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say, I'm going to take out this. I'm going to say antonym for sluggish. My computer's really slow. No, I don't have a million tabs open, as you can see. Opposite, busy or brisk. Okay. Now, I probably could have done that without Googling it, right? Because I find the synonyms are this. I can tell you what the opposite of that is, right? So busy, I like the word brisk. All right, part of speech. Ooh, let me go back to the definition. It'll tell me that. Ooh, it did tell me adjective. See? See right here? It tells me it's an adjective. It's a function. In the dictionary, it said part of speech there. But function is the part of speech. What? Oh, here it is. It is a function. Okay, it's an adjective. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to write. I'm going to type. I'm going to delete this first. Backspace. I'm going to type adjective. Now, use it in a sentence. So I'm going to delete this. And I'm not giving you the answer to this one. Use it in a sentence. And then when you're done, you're going to go back to your classroom and there's a, there's going to be a mark here that says you can submit it so or mark it as done or something like that. So please go ahead and do that. Oh, see, yeah, remember to mark it as done. Please do that, and that lets me know that you finished, and then I can go in and grade these. What? You're grading it? Maybe. I haven't decided yet, friends. And that's all. Okay, it was great to see you today. Um, good luck on your assignment. Remember, if you need any help, call. Um, get on the chat during my office hours, and we'll help you. We're all figuring it out together. Miss you. Love you. See you soon.